Oh, back out in the garage. I guess for most years it's Super Bowl Sunday. I don't watch the Super Bowl. I'm a car guy. So, still working on this front edge here. Got all this roughed in here. This needs a little bit more work. I don't want to do two things at the same time, so I'm just leaving it. And I just gave this edge just a quick swipe from where that little dinghy was. So I'll work this a couple of times. Fender's starting to look like something. I hope. And uh, that's about it. I'm actually, uh, I need new squeegees and I need some more 80 grit sandpaper. But the way I'm dressed, I'm not going out to the store. So I'm going to do as much as I can and call it quits till later. Because I'm sure in a couple hours all the stores will be empty. So, well, that's it, guys. Okay, we got that front lip swiped. Did pretty, pretty good, not the best. That tiny little look spot right there. But the rest of it worked out absolutely mint. You don't feel a thing when you go around. And I feel no edge. So, yeah, that was my biggest gripe that I've lost the touch to do fine things by hand. And I know it takes a while to get back, but when you spend three quarters of the fender, whew, damn, almost lost my NASCAR chair. When you spend three quarters of the fender using, you know, blocks and whatever it is, you don't get to master that skill again that you had at one point. So we're going to continue this lip all the way around. Left a little bit right here to work with. So, and we'll work until we get it right. Then we'll move on to that front edge. Then I'm going to finish up the top here. Then I'll probably skin this fender. With some metal glaze, maybe. I don't know. But lunch is here. My wife's trying to poison me with Subway. But, okay, let me go poison myself. Yeah, everybody knows I'm trying to wean myself off soda. Pay no attention to when I went out to dinner last night. But there you go. We could just pretend it's a slurpee instead of tea. <coughs> well, pretty soon I should be painting this car with my new paint gun. Okay? I should be sending you guys some stickers with my new sticker pack. Okay? I'm going to be probably painting the main, mini bike in the go-kart some nice candy color. I should have a nice thermostat uh, on the sidewall. I'll spend my nights in the, in the house playing with the Hot Wheels cars. Uh, I see we got a rebuilt carburetor that I'm going to win. Uh, I know there's a bunch of other things. I just can't think of them at this second. Oh, I know there's the uh, temperature gauge that Mr. Robinson has. And when I have people come over, we can look at that nice uh, hot rod book that Big Paw 64 has. So I figure I'm going to win all this because I'm just going to bribe Ruben. I'm going to tell Ruben for every prize he lets me win, I'm going to give him two degrees of temperature for his garage. So I figure I'm going to be winning everything, guys. So, hope nobody thinks they're going to win anything. So I'm just going to be bribing Ruben. Oh, we got the wheel well pretty nice. I'm satisfied. Got it skimmed all the way to the back here. To that line. And it's shaped in all the way around here. Took care of this area. Oops, took a couple little swipes. Got that nice. Now I just want to try and get this line right here. I have to go to the right side of the stock line. So I have to eliminate that line. And going by the other side of the car where this screw hole is here. If you follow it out, just a hair below it, the line disappears. So the line disappears as it goes down. So We'll tape it to where it's got to be. We're getting there. I think we got that front corner roughed in. Yeah, it's a little tricky. Not that, you know. Because like I said, it's deep here and it turns to nothing here. And it's just a curvature of it. So I, like I said, I put that line up. I actually taped it straight down. Ran a marker on it. And just 
worked up there with, uh, what did I start with? I did roll 120, then at the end I used 220 to make the actual thing around. And I think we're okay. So remember there was other lines started here. I don't know, I got a picture of it somewhere, what it looked like. I don't think there's anything there I can't knock out with the metal glaze either. So I don't enjoy standing that stuff though. So, next is up here. I got this line roughed in, that's it. On the corner here, I mean the fender's flat. I got it roughed in. And I started roughing in this, but this is going to have to be skimmed. And that's going to be a foot long if I want this line right. It's funny, when I welded that on, that line was dead on. It just seems to be slightly off. There's another thing where it has a... Up here it's got a... Oops deep wide cove and then it gets narrower and narrower and the fender gets flatter and flatter and flatter it's over here it's just a little nothing so it's hard to run your block across and try and match it which I'm doing that's one of the ways I was starting to shape it but uh you know it's one of those things you can't have an inch wide bondo on a weld seam like that so I think we're going to call it quits for today. I know my son wanted to go to the race car place. I wish I would have known a couple hours earlier. So I'm going to almost be closing now. So. I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Today I'm having a good day sanding and I got to stop. I really want to work out here some more. Finally getting the hang of the, the freehand again. So. Well, we're going to have at least two or three square inches of this fender that's going to be metal. It's more than I thought. So, I think we're going to be okay. I know from almost the front of this fender to the back, about this tall, I don't know how tall that would be, that would be like five inches. There's going to be block letters. Hopefully most of the door is the name of the car the way I want it. It's going to take up the majority of the door. And then the rear quarter panel is going to be another name with an address on the bottom of it. And phone number. The back tailgate might just have a couple of names on it. You know, small people names. And that's it. Maybe a little striping here and there, but, but that's going to be the majority of it for the first round till I look at it and see if I like it or how I like it or what I want to add so well, that's it guys he's exactly what he needs he needs some seat time to get the hang of this thing I'll tell you one thing it goes pretty well but not even close to that gas when we had. We'll still have. I hold that thing as a reminder. Never buy another one. So, before he races again, he has to get rear tires. That's why we're doing it on the asphalt. Because the rear tires are shot. 